band consists of um, a number of people who have some some parts here and there, but I kind of bring it all together. Uh, so my role in the band, well, I mean, the way I would try to put it, and this is not trying to be big or anything like that, is that uh, I am the band. I heard there was a secret town where all the roads went round and round, but you don't really care for straight lines, do you? My name is Thomas, I play the guitar, wow. and I'm a founding member of this band. It was the idea of this Australian guy, Stuart Mooney, who now left uh, uh, to Finland. He was the previous bassist. And actually, I'm just their yeah. interim bassist. When they, when they asked me to join, I said, I'll play until you guys can find a real bassist. Well, and I'm glad you know that already, so. because he's going to be kicked out. <laughs> yeah, actually. We started at the, you know, Sharon's living room. We played like a little gig, and then it just grew. And now look at this venue. We're playing this venue. My name is Helena Stein, and I play keys, alternate keys in the band. brought all these guys together well uh, well let's see firstly uh, the Germans uh, Thomas well we found Thomas and Eva uh, on a farm uh, they were indentured slavery in a, in a farm in uh, my diggery and uh, we found them because they were they were renowned for singing these slave songs that they were very good at and uh, you know like these this white slavery songs <laughs> You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? But they were renowned, like all around. All these people would come to see these these people, like working on the farm, working on the farm. They were singing these songs, and they sang them with soul. Uh, and uh, well, Thomas did. Eva was shit. What do I do? I play piano. Just piano. Very simple. <laughs> I don't sing, no. I think it's better. I was a sculpture, but then again, no. I joined the band very briefly after arriving here, just two months or something. Um, there were some people, Thomas amongst them, who decided to, to form a band, or at least to get together and play some music. And um, I was telling Thomas that I wanted to get a piano and start playing again because I hadn't played for a while. So he said, well, we're actually meeting next week to, to jam a little bit. Why don't you just join? And I did. And that's how it started, I guess. <laughs> Any way to sing is what I really mean. Uh, so the other people, uh, Jared. Well, Jared, he was... Um, part of our contract to play as an expat band, uh, we were required to have American on the board. Um, like the American Embassy here has got, I mean, well, actually, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm permitted to say, but they've got fingers and, you know, like lots of contracts here. So as an expat band, we have to have an American on board. 
Um, and he was the uh, least worst person we could find to, to be part of the band. My name is Jared. I'm the bassist. I'm really the foundation for the whole band. So, yeah. <laughs> I was invited and um, I came and I sang and they said, okay, you can sing backing vocals. So that was kind of cool. I threw a in the wall, I don't think I had until I looked at you as it fell and now you're in my way. I beg, borrow and steal, I fun to every feel and I'm about to do um, I sing, I play the guitar, and I play the melodica. The band is really just, for me, just a tool to smuggle as much heavy metal in to the music as I can. We so any song that we can metal up, I'm going to do it. I mean, Eric's pretty crazy because he kind of just, he didn't really join, he just came along. I don't even know how, he just, this is true. He just came to practice and started playing in the band and was like, hey, I'm a member now. I sent about five emails to the band. Asking to join. Okay, you're gonna do a song with, uh, with new songs each time. And finally they let me in. We didn't even like invite him. So he just came with his trombone and started annoying everybody. And you know, it's a really loud instrument. Like last time he just took a dump on stage. He just did it. We didn't ask him to, we didn't we didn't like it, but um he just you know you can't control it. So he's that kind of uh, that kind of guy. These guys. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, I think we'd be all good. I don't know what my stage name is. Chris. Yo. What's my Um. Well, I don't know. You were like the fat chick at school, right? So maybe does be something related to that? Harsh. Yeah, fabulous. I mean, fabulous is a bit strong. It's probably more of a lead yeah, singer yeah. thing. Then maybe something yeah. a bit less. A bit, bit less. Less fabulous. Really? Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good, Jenny. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah, just maybe, just a little bit, but you can... Um, <laughs> yeah, the, ba the yeah. band's just great, just really great. And the sound of a lane Sounds a pound and a shiver Down my spine Yeah, yeah, Down my spine We started off with the uh, the hardship prawns, which was a, a name that lasted for one gig, or one gig only, and we decided that was a shit name. Um, and I believe that uh, Thomas and Anamika and Eva came up with that name. Um, I vetoed that name, but there was so, such a outpouring of grief from them that I was like, okay, let's you do what you want, let's play it, and the crowd hated it. 
So I come back to me saying, yes, I told you so. The name tonight is uh, the fearsome Fuchs. But it keeps changing. We started, the Fuchs um, started with the awesome Fuchs. And we were awesome for a long time. And then when uh, Anamika, the singer, when she left to have her, her baby, we had a show. And since we were missing one of the founding core members, the, uh, we just hit on the idea instead of being awesome, we were lonesome because we didn't have our, our full band. And so we changed it to the Lonesome Fuchs because our main singer at that time, uh, Anamika, was not around. And also we, we kind of had more of a quiet. Never mind, I will find someone like you. And I I think the band is an ever-changing, evolving... People are always traveling, you know, we're in and out, we're moving around, and so the name has to adapt as well, just like we do. Uh, it's just, we're crazy. You know, we're crazy like that. Uh, we have a lot of different identities, jostling for position, and you can't pin us down. You know, like a lot of bands like U2, frankly, that's a little old. That's a little stale. I think most people think that. Um, uh, Atomic Monkeys, well we've heard it now haven't we, but, but with us the name's always changing and, uh, and so are we. So tonight we're the Fearsome Fooks, we were handsome last time, before that we were I think awesome and next time we might be tiresome, we, we, we're not settled on that but we, that's what we're thinking. Oh. on the stage name. I, 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 think I'm, I think I'm going with the White Australian. It's either the White Australian or Chris. I'm not sure which one which one yet, but we'll get there. But I, the women will give me a name tonight. I'm looking forward to hearing what they yell out, and I think I think that's going to give me be my guy. Like maybe a lot of people seem to yell pelvis at me, and I like that because it's almost it's like Elvis, but but with a P. Uh, so maybe I'll go for that. I'm not sure. So when you feel it, so attitude falls away And the world starts to sway a little close Your eyes dance with me all your reality now oh, Seems to make you smile And I'm not buying it all you want All you need The craziest guy in the band yeah. Probably Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> I think Thomas is, no, I think Jared's probably the craziest. Eric's a madman. He really is. Obviously Eric, when he's not on his meds, is a bit of a worry. And he's on his meds, he's pretty good. But when he pauses, it's a bit... And I'm fairly crazy. I mean, this is, that's vodka. There are kids here, so I don't overdo it. But obviously I wouldn't drink water before a show. This is, this is vodka. Craziest person in the band? Ever. Her and her German uh, Scheiser porn. She plays that at every at every practice. Eric likes to take a bottle of tequila and just throw away the cap and he gives himself about 15 minutes. He's like, if I can't finish it in 15 minutes, you know, he gets angry. And then he drinks it in 15 minutes and he's angry anyway and, and he'll <clears throat> He's gone through, we played, this is his second show, that's his seventh trombone, all right, in, in two shows. He's really, he likes to keep the camera on him, but at the end of the show, he'll bang his trombone, he'll just bang it flat on the ground, and he's really quite crazy, so. Um, it's his last show tonight as well, so he's probably gonna pull out all the stops. So, keep an eye on him. Losing some 
He really loves to play. He plays loud and happy. And he uh, goes to his own world. Reda is pretty crazy as well, the drummer. You see he's not even there. He may, we only see him at the gigs, not at the practices. I mean, Thomas is fun, I wouldn't say he's crazy. Crazy, uh, Mr. Charon Singh, for sure. I mean, he thinks he's the man. I don't know where he got this from. If it wasn't for me, I think he'd be organized. He's, he's actually crazy that he thinks he's anything special, but he seems to be quite convinced. And, um, and he likes to go around and, and tell people that I sleep with him. Uh, I was sleeping with her. Which I do because I'm married to him. I mean, I don't have much choice. She was said like, hey, I want to be part of the band. And I was like, if I don't put you in the band, does that mean you stop sleeping with me? And she said, yes. She's in the band. But actually, and please keep this to yourself, but it's the Americans. I mean, they got the contract. They pay me. So, I can chop my money now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Insanity has a certain method to the madness, and that's really more Thomas. So crazy is unpredictable. Thomas is just insane. So I don't think I am actually. I think I, I'm kind of an island of sanity in an ocean of madness. I mean, look at these these insane people. You see murder and and like insanity in their eyes. I'm trying to kind of keep it down. You know, I'm German. So and Ifa, thank God, is too. So kind of we're both on both sides. We're trying to kind of calm them down, get a little bit of like system into it, a little bit of discipline. You know. Like play a few marching songs, but I don't think I'm crazy there. <laughs> well, these guys are dragging me down. That's why. I could be a rock star by now. Unfortunately, I decided to study and go for a normal office job. Otherwise, I could be a rock star. But this is all I got, you know? It's gonna, it's gonna get crazy. That's, that's, that's all I can tell you. The chemistry with this backup band and me fronting it is quite incredible. The, the, the two backup lead singers 
They really add something. They really they contrast with my fairly mellifluous voice. So it's exciting. It's going to be crazy. Expect vomit. Expect hard rock. Expect nudity. Uh, the whole lot. It's uh, it's game on with the fearsome voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guns N' Roses song, and not only did I play, but I sang oh, yeah. in front of people, and that, it, honestly, I mean, that for me is, like, reaching for the gods, like, I mean, I, I, it, it was, it's, it, it, I can't even put it into words. I'm the, I'm the most unpopular member of this band, but they'll miss me when I leave. I'm leaving in five weeks, and you'll see, this band is going one way, this way. No. I don't know, like, to be honest, I, I, I cannot fathom how we are going to cope without Anonique, Thomas and Jared. They have been like the veins in, in the body of the band. Um, I mean, like, look, look, look who's left. Freda. He's brilliant on drums. But can he play anything else? No. Uh, Chris. Yeah, he's, he sings. No he's cafe on, scene. Uh, saxophone. No he's on guitar. He's on harmonica. But can he play anything else? I mean, he can't, he can't even speak English properly, you know? So, um, Jenny, she plays like this, this kind of kid's toy with the, the, the piano on top and, she, and guitar and sings. And, and, and a fantastic voice. But can she do anything else? No, she, she can't do anything else. Uh, and Eva, well, as I said, I mean, she barely plays piano. So, um, so how, I can't see them. As talented they are, as they are with those things, you tell me. I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I hope we don't fall apart, but you know, things fall apart. Future of the band. Way down, way, way down in the gutter where they belong without me. No, honestly, I think it's gonna go. What I really liked the last two times was that we had really cool Nigerian musicians in there, and you know, they'll be more than able to replace all of us, unfortunately. So, this might become a really cool thing. Let's see. But I, I hope they will be way down in the gutter where they belong, especially this guy. That's where he comes from and that's where he should go. They, they don't appreciate what I do. They don't appreciate. Yeah? Like we could lose. We could lose half this band and it would still be good because of me. I've decided that the band will stop after this. I've, I've told everyone that the band will stop because without me, it doesn't really work. Have you, have you, has he explained that he is not the manager? We, we fired you, Taryn.